so hello and welcome back to the new video of the postman tutorial series so today in this video uh, we'll be seeing how we can create our very first api request in postman okay so since this is a beginner friendly course uh, and uh, this is a third our third video i don't want to create any complex uh, api request so in this video we'll be just seeing how we can get started using the postman and how we can create and manage our uh, api request that we are going to send uh, or we are we are going to send to the server and server in response will give give a response to our to us okay through uh, postman okay so let's go and let me just open my postman okay uh, okay it's opening fine uh, so I am assuming that you have uh, uh, seen our previous videos and you have installed your uh, own version of your Postman in your PC, uh, whether it should be uh, Windows or Linux or Mac, the UI will be same. Okay, fine. So let me just uh, start with the clean slate. Uh, I don't want to. Okay, so this is our uh, workspace. Now, uh, once you come here, uh, you want to send or create a, your very first API request. Okay, so before that, you have to understand the UI and how you can use uh, oh, this UI that is being provided by the Postman. Okay, so you come inside your collection. Collections are nothing but is a way to organize your request or the similar kind of request in a particular folder. Okay, so you you create a folder which is uh, uh, named as uh, collection in terms of Postman and inside which uh, all the similar kind of uh, API requests are grouped together okay and inside APIs uh, it says no API Z because we don't have any added any APIs or tested any APIs in, uh, in the Postman okay so environments are there and mock servers, monitors, flows and history here, uh, here is the history uh, it will tell you how, which are which are your api request you have given to the postman all those api requests are come inside this history part okay so we are trying to create our first api request before that i would i would highly, highly recommend you or suggest you to create your account on postman don't just get started without creating your uh, account on postman so do sign up or sign in if you already have an account okay and then watch this video okay so i'm assuming that you have signed up or signed in in your uh, own postman account let's go and create our own very first api request to postman okay so for this video tutorial i will be using one uh, api which is named as a deck of cards api uh, so you just go ahead and write deck of cards api in, in your browser and hit enter and very first uh, website you will see deckofcards.api.com open it okay so uh, what is it it is a api which is of the deck of cards the, the game you might have played once in your lifetime okay so we'll use the shuffle the cards uh, this this one shuffle the cards uh, request to send the there there are many requests uh, draw a card uh, shuffle, reshuffle the cards so we'll see all these in our upcoming videos for but now to create our very first own request uh, to the through api to postman uh, we'll see the how we can do it with the shuffle the cards okay so here you can see uh, this is the uh, this up till now uh, the this is our uh, what we can say endpoints and after that you can see this is our uh, resources and uh, after the question mark whatever we write is name as parameters okay so i hope you know all these terms this is uh, endpoints resources and then parameters okay and here you can see uh, add a deck count uh, as a get or post parameter to define the number of decks you want to use okay so they are telling uh, telling us that you, we can modify the number of deck counts so they are default they have given as one we can uh, modify uh, blackjack typically uses uh, six decks uh, the default is one okay so they have given us the default you can modify it to six as well one to six uh, whatever you want okay and in response this api will give you a response like this this is a json object uh, success is true true or false that means it's a boolean 
or uh, deck id uh, is given to you which is unique and shuffled is set as a true and remaining is 52 because there are 52 52 cards in a deck and uh, we are performing shuffling of cards okay so there there should not be any cards that is uh decrease or increase okay uh, okay fine uh, we can just hit copy uh, so to copy this uh, request and we go inside our postman and you can see there are two ways by which you can create your very first own request of api just to hit enter over here it will create an untitled re request okay so if you don't uh, another way is hit on click on new uh, then there are a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, options over here you can see uh, you can uh, click on http request again you will come at uh, that same ui that you are that you are getting by clicking on the plus button and you can see uh, untitled request is there and you can uh, rename your request by clicking or uh, clicking on okay so here you can see new request duplicate tab you can do the, all these things okay okay fine uh, we will go ahead and unsave changes okay okay so these are these many requests uh, uh, get post request put request patch delete copy head these are the many requests which are provided by the postman we will select the get and uh, params is the parameters that we are passing uh, so in our case we are passing the parameters of deck count as one so it will come uh, over here key as a deck count and value as one and if you have any description you can provide that as well and authorization uh, part is uh, there are some apis which require authorization uh, you can't just go ahead and uh, hit uh, send the request to the api and those apis requires authorization for that uh, testing of apis uh, this authorization tab comes in picture we will see uh, some a that apis that type of apis as well okay and these are the settings which is uh, there for this request that we are trying to create okay enough talking uh, we'll go into the params and uh, the link that is or the request that we have uh, copied from here we'll just go ahead and paste it over here and as soon as i hit uh, control v or command v for mac you can see uh, it automatically populated the deck count and value as one as soon as i change the value as six you can see the uh, postman is also uh, param quick query params are also changing that one as well I will keep it as one uh, which is default one okay and as soon as uh, i hit enter uh, you can see uh, send and download also features is there you can send and download your response which is get which you will get from your api okay so uh, i will just simply hit say uh, send okay now now we can see uh, status is uh, 200 okay uh, so i hope you know this uh, status codes of uh, web okay so you can see state uh, if you don't know just go ahead and uh, enter search for the status code and uh, first thing for long link came from uh, developer.mozilla.org here are the http responses status codes are there uh, you can watch or see every status code that you get so our api has sent us status code as 200 okay if you hover over here you can see the documentation as well the standard uh, you can see standard response for successful http request so our request is successful and time taken uh, is also is there and uh, amount of size uh, 8 830 bit uh, byte you it takes okay uh, so the here also postman provides so various uh, tabs pretty means uh, all the json uh, response that we get from our api is prettified and uh, this looks in a good manner okay so raw raw means uh, the the response that we get from our api in a raw preview uh, this is a preview and visualize uh, setup so we have to set up the visualizer for this okay we will do in upcoming videos uh, but now you can see success is true uh, deck id is given to us remaining 52 and shuffle is true uh, so if i go here and deck of cards api uh, similarly a similar kind of response that they have 
given to us uh, that response we have given uh, uh, back to us from our API okay so this is how you can create your own API okay and now if I just save uh, and here you can see uh, says you don't have any collections uh, let's let me create one collection so that we can understand the collection part as well create collection uh, I will name my collection as deck of cards API okay I'll create my collection okay so see uh, the collection is empty uh, I click on uh, save now we can go inside your collections and you can see deck of cards API collection is uh, collection is created inside which our this API call is there and I'll, if I again hit hit enter or send this should give me the same kind of response but the deck ID is different okay so uh, whenever you click on this deck ID will be different for every response that you are trying to give to the API okay so if I give, give two you can see remaining is 104 okay uh, so the maximum is six I guess that we can give yeah six we can give and if I try to give seven let's check what it takes okay should is also seven seven is also good okay so fine uh, I hope you got the idea how we can create a API request in postman okay so thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one